Exodus chapter 23, verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemies and an adversary unto thy adversaries. God shall fight those who are fighting against you. Those who are fighting against your marital breakthrough, God shall fight them. Those who are fighting against your pregnancy, God shall fight them. Those who are contending against your promotion, God shall contend against them. Those who are attacking your progress, God shall attack them. These are not my words, they are the words of God. He said, I be an enemy unto your enemies. God himself shall be an enemy unto every spiritual enemies of your life in Jesus' mighty name. The heaven shall fight your battles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are adversaries that gather against you for no just cost in your business premises, in your office, in your, in, in your neighborhood. God shall be an enemy. God shall fight your battles and you shall hold your peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cry unto God. This is the promise he gave you. He said, I will fight against those who are fighting against you. I will be an enemy unto your enemies. Any power, any person, anywhere that has determined himself, that has, that has made himself your enemy, uh, your repentant or unrepentant enemy, today everyone shall be their enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So hold your peace. Go and sleep. Provoke uh, every intervention. God says, I want to be the enemy of your enemy. But look at what the Bible says. There's a condition for that to happen. You must obey his voice. You must obey his voice, which means you must fear him, which means you must keep his law, which means you must not put your hands into sin, which means you must obey his commandments, which means you must serve him, which means anything he says you should do, you should do so that he can protect you. Receive the spirit of obedience. Receive the spirit of righteousness. Receive the spirit of holiness. God shall fight your battles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I face so many spiritual attacks, but I know the enemy cannot kill me. It's not possible. There is no way I can sleep and die in my sleep. It's not possible. I have said this several times. The Spirit of God told me that my aeroplane, that was a time place for a crash in Nigeria, and I was afraid of flying again. But twice, the Spirit of God told me, I saw revelation. My plane, your plane, can never crash. As a matter of fact, I was still afraid. And God showed me a revelation that I saw my plane enter the ocean. But even inside the ocean, I saw God save me. That is the promise of God. He will be an enemy unto your enemy. He will afflict those who are afflicting against you. He will rescue you. He will oppose your opposers. It will contend with your contenders. It will attack anybody that wants to attack you. It will fight your battles. Just obey his voice. Live a life of sacrifice. There is a price to be paid for your deliverance, for your healing, for your breakthrough, for your promotion. There is a price to be paid for, for prosperity through holiness. Just obey his voice. There is a popular saying that there is no, there is no gain without pain. Obey his voice. Do what he asks you to do. Look at his commandments. Check the Ten Commandments. Obey his voice. And the battles that you are facing today, the enemies you see today, he will fight your battles himself and he will give you victory. This is the secret of your deliverance. This is the secret of our healing. Obey his voice. And don't try to fight your battles. You cannot overcome Satan. You cannot overcome demons. You cannot overcome them. But once you obey his voice, the blood is there. The blood of Jesus Christ is there. The blood of the name above every other name is there. And those ones will paralyze the forces of darkness that are contending against your, your life, contending against your marriage, contending against your salvation. Obey his voice and you shall achieve your deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.